How do smartphone screens work? On the surface of your computer screen, touch screens must do something similar. Switches, membranes, and other pieces of plastic would obstruct the view of the screen below, so they can't utilize them. In order to detect your touch, they'll have to use even more sleight of hand. The mechanics of touch screens. Touch screens operate in a variety of ways. For some who can only focus on one finger at a time, pressing in two spots at once might be exceedingly perplexing. Others can readily tell if you've pressed many keys at the same time. Listed below are a few of the more important ones. Resistive. If you think of a resistive touchscreen as a transparent keyboard put on top of a display, you're right. Polyester plastic is attached to the bottom layer of conducting glass with an insulating membrane in between the two layers. In the same way that you push a key on a keyboard, you force the polyester to contact the glass and complete a circuit. The coordinates of the area you touched are determined by a chip included in the screen. How a resistive touchscreen is constructed In a manner similar to a standard computer keyboard, pressing a resistive touchscreen forces two conducting layers together so that they come into contact with each other. Capacitive These screens are comprised of a variety of layers of clear glass. Both the inner and outer layers of the screen act as conductors of electricity, and as a result, the screen functions like a capacitor. Touching the screen changes the electrical field in a way that is dependent on where your hand is placed on the screen. It's possible to touch capacitive displays in many places at once. They don't operate if you contact them with a plastic pen, unlike most other touch screens, because the plastic is an insulator and stops your hand from affecting the electric field. A capacitive touch screen's working mechanism. Every inch two of the touch screen functions as a capacitor in capacitive touch screens. The electromagnetic field that exists between the inner and outer glass is altered when your finger is brought near to it. Infrared. Infrared touch screens, like intruder alarms, employ a grid pattern of LEDs and light detector photocells on opposing sides of the screen. An infrared spider's web appears in front of the screen thanks to LEDs. Two or more beams are interrupted when you touch the screen at a certain location. When a beam is stopped, a microchip within the screen can figure out where you've touched. With a touchscreen reader like the one shown in our photo, you can use an ebook like this. Using a pen or your finger on an infrared screen has no effect on performance since you are disrupting a beam. Infrared touchscreen operation principles. Tom Cruise had to sidestep the same magic eye technology seen in Mission Impossible as he used an infrared touchscreen. When you move your fingers near to the screen, invisible beams that flow between LEDs and photocells are broken. Acoustic waves on the surface. Rather of relying on light, this touchscreen technology uses sound to identify your fingertips. When a high-frequency sound wave is created at the screen's edges, it is reflected back and forth across the screen. When you contact the screen, the sound beams are disrupted and part of their energy is absorbed by your finger. From this information, the screen's microchip controller is able to determine precisely where you have touched the screen. How a Surface Acoustic Wave Touchscreen Works There are some similarities between an infrared screen and the surface acoustic wave screen, however the sound waves disrupted by your finger are far higher frequency than the light beams. Imaging in the Near Field have you ever noticed how an old-style radio may buzz and whistle when you touch it? In and around the antenna, the electromagnetic field created by incoming radio waves may be affected by your body. The closer you are, the more powerful your impact is. Touchscreens that use near-field imaging, NFI, operate in the same manner. In order to record your touch, you must bring your finger closer to the glass screen and alter the electric field. NFI screens, which are far more durable than some of the alternatives, are well suited for usage in harsh settings, like military use. These sensors are able to sense the touch of pens, styluses and even hands covered in gloves, unlike most other technologies. How a touchscreen with near-field imagery works Small voltages are given to the corners of a near-field imaging screen, resulting in an electric field on the surface. The field changes as your finger approaches. Lightweight Pens An early version of touchscreen technology, light pens functioned in a different manner than today's touchscreens. The old-style computer displays used a cathode ray tube television-style electron beam to create the image. Electron beams were detected by the pen's photoelectric cell, which sent a signal to the computer via cable. 
Since the computer could always tell where the electron beam was at any one time, it was able to determine where the pen was pointing. This illustration shows how light pens may be used to sketch computer graphics on the screen, rather than just selecting menu items or text. In 1973, a NASA scientist used a light pen to sketch on an IBM computer screen. In 1973, a light pen was used to draw on a computer screen. Though you can't see anything in this picture, there is a lengthy electric connection that connects the light pen to the computer NASA Ames Research Center provided this image, NASA ARC. Touchscreens have several advantages. There's no keyboard in this photo. It has an infrared touchscreen on the Sony eBook Reader, described in more detail below. There is no longer a need to have a separate keyboard, which reduces the device's size and portability while increasing its reliability. You may utilize a pop-up on-screen keyboard to jot down notes in the books you're reading by pressing the screen. Touchscreen technology has a lot to offer since it is so simple for people to utilize. As much information as is necessary for a certain activity may be shown on a touchscreen, guiding individuals through the process in a logical and easy-to-follow manner. Because of this, touchscreen technology has proven ideal for a wide range of applications, including public information kiosks, train station ticket machines, electronic voting machines, self-service supermarket checkouts, military computers, and a host of others.